Hello my beautiful Aquarius friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is Irish Donna Tarot and my name is Donna Wilder Hart. As I start the reading, I'm looking at this beautiful message from Spirit coming in across the table. Look at this. We have a lace curtain on an eastern facing window and the sun is coming in in this beautiful, very gentle way, sort of flashing like Aquarius, you can't see everything right now. Whatever happens is going to be beautiful. Trust the energy. All right, so with that, let's get started on your reading, Aquarius. I just think that that is too beautiful to ignore. All right, one more shuffle for our beautiful Aquarius friends. All right, cutting the deck for Aquarius for new love. The energy at the bottom of the deck is... You're at a turning point. You're at a crossroads. It is time to make a decision to leave one choice behind and to go forward in a, in a relationship or a new love situation in which there's a lot of fun, there's adventure, there's surfboards, there's Volkswagen Beetle buses taking you around the winding hills and, and highways of California or a similar place. The globe is yours. You need to be in a relationship that is very, very uh, global, that has a lot of adventure involved in it. So that is a message from spirit in your overall energy. It's time to make the choices for yourself to reflect happiness and love and reflect your values. The beginning energy at this time, oh, look at you, Aquarius. You have this beautiful energy, the Sagittarius energy of the Nine of Wands. It is fire in your belly. You're a soldier who has been on the trails of love for a while. Though you are tired, you are willing to fight for what you need and want and deserve. Let's see, we have currently you have someone coming in to make an offer, someone who wants to give to the relationship. That is the energy of Taurus. It's the energy of someone who wants to give to you and allow you to receive instead of the turnabout. It looks like you're very generous in relationships and sometimes that may have gotten out of hand. Now is your turn to receive, Aquarius. All right, we have in the near future, you're just going to keep your options open. We have Pisces energy. You may be involved with the Pisces, but we really see you taking your time to make the right decision because when we get the Seven of Cups card, we see that there are many alluring choices, but some of those cups hold very, very, you know, toxic or difficult energy. So you're taking your time. The energy in terms of the way you are viewed in the singles world today, well, anyone, Aquarius, would be lucky to have you. You are coming in with Sagittarius energy again. And it's all about the timing. Destiny is on your side. It's time for you to have some good luck. Fortune is turning in your favor. It's very Jupiterian, happy-go-lucky energy. It really speaks of meeting someone almost accidentally, but not really. Spirit has a plan for you, Aquarius. In the heart space of the person who's coming in is a desire to make a major offer to you. The Ace of Pentacles is the best card in the deck for new love. It means someone is coming towards you at this time. Could be Capricorn energy or Taurus. Could also be Virgo energy. But someone who's very grounded, somebody who's down to earth, somebody who's going to bring value. Even we see the wheel turning here. This is somebody of value who knows what they want, who knows what they want. Excuse me, redundant. <laughs> who knows what they want to offer you, Aquarius. Beautiful energy. The Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. You have a soulmate coming in with love on their mind. They feel as though you are a perfect match for them. They feel as though they want to spend a lot of time getting to know you holding hands, taking walks. This is a proverbial walk on the beach. It's working together. It's sharing your ideas about what you want for your future with the Sagittarius energy. What is hidden right now in your new love life uh, or new love coming in for your life is Libra energy. You are staying very grounded. You are staying very focused on your future. You are not necessarily going to accept anybody right away because right now 
some of you have your heart closed off. When we see the Libra Queen, we see somebody who's keeping their heart caged for the time being. And this is really part of you keeping your options open, waiting for destiny to send you a direct message. The energy of spirit is... Oh, take your time, Cirque du Soleil, you have all the time that you need, Aquarius, this is Piscean energy, you know in your heart of hearts, mentally, emotionally, intuitively, that you have something that you're going to learn that's going to help light the path for new love. There's some sort of message, message coming in from spirit that helps you see what's unknown to you now. And remember when I talked about the curtain and the ripples, spirit had the message for you. You don't know everything you need to know yet. So don't make a decision. Take your time. It's okay. You don't have to rush. The outcome at this time and new love, oh, that is healing, hopes and dreams coming true. Aquarius, there you are in your reading. You are attracting you are attracting your own energy, the love, the light, the enlightenment that you bring, the detached love, the spiritual love, the heartfelt love, and the sun and the luminaries are coming together at this time to help you find a forever love that will be someone who matches you inside, beautiful inside, beautiful outside for a true spiritual victory and love. Let's go ahead and clarify this reading for you, Aquarius. Quite, quite a stunning reading. You could actually become a star. This is if you're in the entertainment field and you are also could date a star. But this truly means, you know, when I think of Keanu Reeves as being the penultimate star because he has a spiritual core that people relate to in the real world. And that's what I see for you someone who's going to be quite magical like you yourself are, Aquarius. We have the Nine of Wands. Tell us about the fire in your belly that you have for love at this time and who's going to respond. You have a Leo energy coming towards you, somebody who wants to introduce you to all their friends, somebody who feels that you are their personal rock star. They want to get to know about you. They want to be a couple. They want to be out in public. They want to get your attention. They are are fighting for your attention at this time. It's a little bit, bit ego driven. It shows that you're not so much interested in somebody who's showing off. It sh <laughs> we get the energy that you've had that in your life before. Tell us something more about this Leo energy. They're coming in with a very a nice offer. It's not a huge offer, but it's the offer that's appropriate when you're just getting to know somebody. The Six of Cups, this may have been somebody that you've known from the past. It can be that or it can be a soulmate coming in in this lifetime for their first appearance. Scorpio energy, page of cups. I do think that there's probably an age difference with this person. And you're you're a little bit skeptical about them. Your feeling is when pigs fly, they'll give me a substantial offer. Well, you know, you don't have to take every offer. Clearly, you have six or seven offers coming in. So you're going to take your time with this hanged man energy and you're going to, to let the person who's a match emerge naturally. What do we have the Six of Pentacles here for you? You have the energy of the Two of Wands. So you're going to make sure that you choose someone who reflects back to you your value system. That yes, both of you should give in the relationship, both of you should see, receive in the relationship, but you are at a crossroads. It is time to make a decision about love. It's time to see this wand the person is leaving behind. That's you, Aquarius. What we see in this energy with you is that you are leaving behind difficult people. You're leaving behind arguments, you are leaving behind toil and trouble, you are leaving behind having to always be so strong. Your energy is moving into a glorious new beginning that is very much all about being down to earth, being able to love deeply, being able to be resilient and, and fearless in your ability to open your heart. You want to, for some of you, you want to 
heal a relationship with someone with whom you've been involved. But at any rate, for most of you, in terms of new love, what I really see for you is you want to meet your forever person. You are going to meet your forever person. I feel very strongly that your forever person is a Leo Sagittarius, okay? Could be a Cancer, Leo, or Sagittarius. All major, are, these are two major arcana cards and the beautiful Libra Queen. So you are courageous in love. You are ready to balance things out. This is a card of healing as is this. And you have the strength to find your soulmate, that person with whom you want to be with through eternity. The Seven of Cups energy is all about keeping your options open and trying to carefully choose, but being confused. You have a level of confusion right now, but again, Pisces, Pisces energy. Spirit is just recommending. Hang out, look at these cups from a different perspective, and then you will have your answer. You clearly have a Capricorn energy coming in, somebody who really wants to collaborate in life, somebody who does keep their feelings close to their chest right now, somebody who's coming across as very playful, somebody who is, again, Pisces energy, eat, drink, be merry, throw caution to the winds. Look at those two cards, throwing caution to the winds. It's about having fun, but look at that. You have a Taurus king coming in and giving you a very different impression of who they are and how grounded and how generous they are and they're almost going to throw you off the trail you know they want you to see them for happy go lucky they want you to see them as carefree as somebody who's fun who somebody is somebody that is um, that you can enjoy and they see you as a person who probably hasn't had enough fun in the recent period of time that you're thinking about. But this Taurus King is very serious. When they say they want to throw caution to the winds, they're coming in with more, a huge offer. This is your offer. That's who I believe. I believe you have a Taurus King, the King of Pentacles, coming in with a significant offer for you, and you're really not going to see who they are for a bit of time. They're coming across as being all about fun. They do want to know if they can laugh because Taurus loves to eat, drink, and be merry. Taurus is very sensual, very much uh, desirous of having all the good things in life. So I would simply say watch what their drinking habits are as well as you watch your own and make sure that it doesn't tip too far in that direction. But you look solid here with this offer. You have a very, very beautiful, fair offer somebody who's very honest coming in the truth the whole truth nothing but the truth a very good jupiterian personality somebody who's happy go lucky somebody who's very very grounded very fair even though they seem like they're a lightweight they aren't they are magnificent because they're so balanced they have done their ascension work the three of cups says that this could be a very good friend somebody who's very close to you it could also mean that a friend of yours will point this person out as someone that you're very attracted to even though you're really not paying attention you may talk about this person and your friend says well duh you know this person is all about you Aquarius you intuitively know that this person has a very good offer um, you know when we get I'm going to say this when we get the ace of coins and the three of cups we have the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiterian expansion. Could be somebody from a different culture, could be someone from a different um, part of the world, a different country, a different ethnicity. But we see the Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups is the engagement set. The Three of Cups is a bridesmaid's dancing at the wedding in a manner of speaking. The Ace of Coins is that ring. It's the tangible offer of value given you are not going to think about this you're trying not to think about it but you see it coming intuitively aquarius you see this offer coming you have your eyes closed but if you look at this card very closely your eyes are wide open even though they appear to be closed look at that i think you can see that okay well whether you can or not there it goes okay so let's look at this ace of pentacles what is the Ace of Pentacles? Tell us more about this offer. 
I feel like this is the Taurus King. It certainly is probably an earth sign person with maybe some fire in their chart. Ten of Cups. Oh, the trial. Oh, this is beautiful. You have soulmate, happily ever after. Both of these are marriage cards. You have the energy of the engagement set. You do have to make a decision. The star card is a luminary. That is, you've done the work, you're healing. It's your manifestation of hopes and dreams. We have the energy here of the Aries Queen coming in with new love. Somebody is going to be undeniably passionate in their pursuit of their relationship with you. They're not, they want your attention. They're very much bent on getting your attention. And I see your heart opening to this person, the Ace of Cups, new love. Beautiful energy here. When we have the Two of Cups, we have the Devil reversed. Devil be gone. Poof. You are all the toxic energy that you've had to deal with in previous relationships. You have conquered that. You have healed that energy. Anything that looks codependent has been conquered. You are highly skilled now and highly aware, as is your person. The person who's coming in, this could again be Cancerian energy. It could be a Virgo. It could be somebody who is Capricorn and very enlightened Capricorn. You are walking away from a period of time in your life when you felt defeated. You're letting go. You're letting go of the old wounds. You are really seeing the sun, the new luminous luminary moving into your sun. You know, the star is at night, but during the daytime, you're very much conscious of the work that you've had to do to be open for this new love. The Ten of Swords energy is a release. You had to let go of somebody with whom you invested a lot of energy, a lot of time, and a lot of yourself, but it's okay. We see you closing out that cycle because you release the negativity, you release that person to spirit and the universe, you continue your healing, and you continue to move forward in your new destiny, your new cycle in life that will be very successful. You've learned your lessons. This is love and ascension. Why do we have the Libra Queen here? Well, <laughs> you're going to probably meet someone who's very much of the nature of being very balanced, okay? Look at the balance. Libra is all about balance, the scales of justice. The Libra Queen, I call it the, the judge, jury, you know, making the decisions about what's fair and balanced. But look at this person is balancing quite literally on top of this coin, we look at the world card. She's balancing on a little bitty, you know, ring here. And so what we see is that right now, you are absolutely having fun. You're, the timing is right. I don't think you try to meet this person at all. I just think again, that you meet them. I feel as though in a work environment, you are single and ready to mingle. So is your person. Both of you want the same thing. You see, this is Taurus energy. Look at that crossing. Look at that. The Taurus energy is very much the energy that you both seek. That would be mutual energy between you and your new love. Neither of you are going to pay attention to the past in which you have old wounds. Both of you are releasing that energy. It is mutual release. And the Seven of Swords says that you will release anyone who is dishonest. You know, this is the energy of you staying balanced. So what's being released is lying, cheating, stealing, feeling left in the cold. You're not having it. It's your Gem Gemini energy deciding to close off and to not ever entertain that energy again. And you have traded up beautifully spiritually as this reading develops into this beautiful good luck, standing in your power and holding your dreams and hopes for love coming true, and you manifested the sun card. The sun comes out every day, whether we see it or not, right? All right, so Spirit is recommending you take your time, you look at things differently. Oh, Aquarius, there you are in your reading again. This is very beautiful energy. It's very Dr. Doolittle energy. I always see this. This is sort of like the surgeon who goes on holiday. And even though this person is very, very able to, to slice through to the truth, 
There is such heart here, Aquarius. Spirit is saying that you've cut out the old wounds, you've healed the old wounds, you've healed the people that have been unkind to you, the people that have haunted you. Basically what Spirit is saying is that you're almost there, you're almost there. What it is suggesting to you in a very powerful way though, is that so that you don't repeat errors of the past, stay in your intellect and be sure to turn your back on the wounds of the past and not project them into the future. Looking at things differently, looking at things spiritually will help you make that final transition into the manifestation of new love. Why is a beautiful star card here for you? Why is the star card here for you? Let's see what we have. We have, oh, the 10 of coins. The 10 of coins energy, look at that. So when we look at the Taurus King, we're looking at, and remember, that, look at this. I want to I wanna show the diagram. You have new love, happily ever after. You have the Hierophant card. You have the happily ever after card. You have an engagement set. But look at the coin, the coin, the coin. I really feel as though your new love is going to be a very grounded, very, very spiritually ascended person of earth sign energy. And I am so delighted for you in this reading. You've done your work. You are ascending. We're going to pull three cards for you on your journey of love. These are journey of love cards. This is all about what Spirit wants to tell you at this time about your own personal inner journey in love and what you're experiencing. The pearl threaded, meaning that you've really advanced through through the pearls threaded are like stringing a necklace of pearls. You've put it all together. You're ready to do that. You've, you have everything that you need at this time, Aquarius. The swan, the ugly duckling, the old relationships of the past are paving the path for the beautiful relationship of the future. Heart of the moment. Be passionate in the moment. Make an honest, heartfelt choice. And that is your message, Aquarius. It's been delightful. Thank you so much for joining me. I answer all the comments. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.